Now this week we're at Donington Park and I brought you somewhere very special in the British countryside to this famous Donington Park Motor Museum. Now this really is a history of motorsport right from the get-go all the way back to 1929's Alfa Romeos all the way through the history of cars and bikes and it's the vision of the man who put the circuit together, Tom Wheatcroft. He used to come here before the war and watch the bikes and cars and he had a dream one night that one day he would open the circuit up and have a museum fit for a king and it really is all the history of motor racing is right here in this building and it's quite incredible in fact the first ever race at donnington park was a motorcycle race and the race winner was a guy called squib burton what a great name for a motorcycle rider 1931 and on a rally of all things locally entered so there you go there's a little bit of trivia for you also in terms of the trivia of the museum itself 142 Formula One cars in this building, the biggest collection of Formula One cars in the world. But perhaps the prized possession, certainly in my eyes, is the 1993 McLaren of Ayrton Senna de Silva. And of course, you know the history of Ayrton Senna, three-time world champion, but it was here at Donington Park in 1993 that he took that famous victory, the one which they call the greatest race of the century, when, he, in that McLaren, beat Alain Prost, Damon Hill in the Williams, in a very underpowered McLaren in the rain, and it was just an incredible drive. Well, that car, along with many others, are right here in this museum. So if you ever get a chance to come to Donington Park, you've got to come down and see the vision that was Tom Wheatcroft's museum here at Donington.